Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Um, happy Thursday, um, or it might not be Thursday where you are. Um, um, so, hello, wherever you're from and wherever you are. Um, she's like, it's in the now. So, we're just um, the last couple of days, like, oh my God, the energy. Um, The cards really want to come out today. So um, the first card in the general reading is the, still wants to jump, the go the distance card. The next card is the breathe card. And then we get the card of a leg up. Flexibility, because sometimes we, we like to try to control things, but sometimes things are not of our control. And then you get the round and round card because everything um, kind of always works itself out. And the bottom of the deck is the chaos and conflict card. But in this card, you know, it's a zebra, but he's got a giraffe skin, but that giraffe skin is peeling off. And we feel like that is definitely what is happening now. Like huge transformation happening now. Um, I did get a new deck of cards. Um, so we're going to use them today. Um, they are very beautiful. Um, they are the, um, they're just the gold foil tarot, but they are, um, that's the box. So he likes me to show them. Um, and, and they are very beautiful. Um, so we are going to do um, just the general reading with these. Um, they flow very well. Um they are definitely full of the new energy. Um, so you was like the other day, she's like, buy those. We got to have them now. So, um, so here they are. So we are just doing, um, general energy. She said, we're just going to cut the deck and go from there. So we are doing a, um, current energy is the four of pentacles. So, um, some energy we're holding on to, um, and there is another four, the emperor, um, what are you holding on to about your masculine energy? Um, where are you holding yourself back in your masculine energy? Sometimes we go all, you know, we're, like I've been really working on my physical, but I or my feminine energy, but I also have to make sure I'm balancing that with my masculine. So, um, you know, as we are twin flames, we um, have to have that energy and the foundation of the reading is the queen of cups so i'm um, definitely saying to come from a space of your heart um and, and i feel like maybe that's saying we're holding on a little bit to to being in our masculine energy so maybe maybe try to be a little more of your heart space today um the card of the immediate future is the king of cups aren't we all aren't don't we all want to welcome him in we love when he's around um he always makes us feel good. Um, <laughs> true. Um, the headspace is the Ace of Cups, which is about, you know, um, that self-love. And as you give yourself that self-love and decide to really feel that, make sure you're not hanging out in the masculine energy. <laughs> Don't be hanging out in the masculine energy because if you're hanging out there, he can't be. And we want him to we want him to come in. We don't want him to stay out. Um, in the um, <laughs> the immediate past card is the Queen of Swords, which is that clarity of knowing what do you want. And, and you know what you want? You want to be in a really good heart space because if you want somebody to come back and be in a place with you, you want to be really lovey and gushing all over them like you want them all over you. So make sure you're really... Um, Spending some time being in your feminine energy, we feel like as, as you can be in that masculine energy, sometimes that holds you back. And I feel like maybe you're having a few people around you because I see, you know, two queens, the king and the emperor. So I feel like you may have a, a, several people currently around you that are in different stages of this journey. So uh, just know... Um, Come from a place of your heart. Um, and, and just know if there are several people around you, as as you stand in your self-love, they're going to mirror that back to you. So if, if that's what you want mirrored back to you, you know, that love and kindness and generosity, 
make sure you're projecting that energy as well. The current environment, the Eight of Swords. She says with that, sometimes that's, you know, we, we want something to change, but we don't know how. And sometimes that's because we're trying to control it. Sometimes we just need to be a little more flexible and know that everything is always working out because we start with go the distance and we end with round and round. That it is a cycle. It is everything is always working out. We're going to get a little clarification um, on some guidance for that eight of swords for the current energy. Um, because we want to see how we can move that forward out of that eight of swords energy. Um, so if you're having a lot of chaos and conflict right now in your mind, um, we're gonna we're gonna see what we need to do to let go of this energy over here and this energy and the um and here's why. How other people are seeing you is that moon, that um, that moon is that cancer energy, but moon is also that shadow, that light and that dark. And maybe they see that you're you're working with the energies and trying to figure out how are you, you know, how are you working that all out for you? And also, so you said Mars has moved into cancer and with that energy, it's action with passion and, you know, from a heart centered place. So Make sure you're doing that. Um, and she said, we really don't like this as your the current energy, um, you know, of, of things. You may be going through a dark night of the soul. And she said, you know, this message isn't for everybody. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you're going through a little bit of a struggle right now and some mind chatter, um, no, it's just some. sometimes we have to go through things and gain new clarity. Um, and I say that because I see the moon with the sun there and, and gain new clarity and perspective on the situation. So if, if you're having a lot of mind chaos, you know, say, can I say this better? What, what can be a better, you know, how can I say this better? How can I, um, How can I see it from a higher or different perspective? And the Hopes and Fears card is that Four of Cups, like the universe is trying to bring you a gift in. But in this, another four, he's being stubborn. So right now we've got, you know, two fours in the Emperor. So three fours. So that, you know, four, 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 um, which is about trying to bring in stability. And we feel like that's definitely what's trying to come in with that King of Cups in the future. Um, and we feel like as you gain that new clarity, it's going to move things forward very quickly, you know, that Knight of Swords is the quickest knight in the deck. Um, the underlying energy is the, the Knight of Swords. Are you being awakened at night? If you are, you know, that's most likely. So it's like Dark Knight of the Soul. That's when you're really getting those messages in the middle of the night, that communication that's waking you up. When that's happening, be like, okay, what are you trying to tell me? Because as you, as you step into that energy and really accept it, you're going to turn that wheel. Put that tit of swords down, which is that burden, which is, you know, definitely what happens when you turn that wheel. So you got nine, ten, ten, and another ten. So with the hermit on the bottom of the deck, which is about really standing in your power um, and and in your mission with, with the page, with the two of pentacles on the bottom, which is about finding that balance. So um, are, are you ready for a brand new cycle? Because this looks like... Um, This looks like big changes coming. I mean, you're going from the nine to the ten of swords with with the um, wheel of fortune there, letting go of that burden. Really, those are the two tens you want to get rid of. So it is time to move that cycle by, by asking, what do I need to do? What do I need to do to step into this mission? And as you do that, you're going to gain the clarity on the action to take forward. Because really, if, if you change your thoughts, you can almost immediately change your entire environment we are going to get some cards about the four of pentacles and the emperor um in the current energy she said this current energy feels like it's a very it's it's a very stuck mindset in the physical something that can change really quickly so we're going to see guidance to move this four of pentacles um what are we holding on to that we need to let go of She's like, what are we holding on to? So 
some thoughts that don't serve us. Um, I can't help but here are you meditating um, and being in that feminine energy because then we get the page of swords, the star, and the empress. So I feel like it's definitely asking you to step into your feminine energy and really take take some time to decide what do you want to manifest? Is, is it worth holding on? To the things that aren't serving you. Because sometimes those things that are holding on. Is causing no communication. And as you heal that energy. Like you're you're bringing in something really good. Um, as you decide to let go of, of whatever energy is holding you back. About your stability. About stability. As you balance that energy. What are you holding? Um. And that can be in many things. That can be a person. That can be a job. That can be, you know, a lot of different things are part of our stability. You know, that emperor energy encompasses a lot. Our home, our... Our home. Somebody's home. Is somebody getting a new home? Somebody may be trying to manifest a new home and they're trying to put a lot of action in it. And as are you trying to push something forward with action? Are you trying to like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this happen because I'll tell you, honestly, if you really want to manifest something, get in your heart space and really desire what you want and think about it from like you. Abraham says one person connected is stronger than a million people that aren't. So take the time, get really clear on what you want, meditate, get grounded, be balanced, uh, and then focus on how to bring in that stability. Because right now we figure feel whatever you're holding on to from the past is what's blocking the stability. She's like, whatever, you know, he's definitely holding on to that type. He's like, I got it. I have to do it this way. And she's like, that's control. Let go of control. Let go of control. <laughs> okay, we're going to get clarification on the Eight of Swords um, <laughs> for the current environment. So what is going on with the Eight of Swords? I know there's been a lot of downloads lately. I've been getting a lot of strong messages. And yesterday I had to, you know, I was going to do a live and had to take a nap instead. So um, <laughs> there's those downloads trying to come in. So if, if you're getting downloads, if you're getting a little, um, especially like I was meditating and after I do that or like go on a walk, a lot of times like afterwards, I'm like, okay, I have to take a break to integrate that because we feel like that is what this is definitely trying to do. You're definitely getting messages from your higher self. Um, and she's like, look, clarifying that are three major arcana. So just know that you have the choice to think of something in a different way. She's like, you can think of things in such a different way. You have that inner strength and guidance. Know that you are being guided. Know that you have the ability to think a different thought. You get to choose. Think a different thought. She's like, think a different thought. It's literally that simple. That is the work. That literally is the work to take the time to choose a different thought. I mean, take one moment and say, is this thought, is this thought serving me? Just like right then, there was so much energy coming through me, but she's like, slow down and say it. So is this, are the negative thoughts serving you? Because I'm pretty sure they're not. And that is the work on how to figure out how to overcome those. And you can overcome them by truly being balanced, being grounded, being connected to your higher self, listening. Say, you know, I'm having this thought. How can I bring more love to this thought, this situation? Because as you decide to come at it from a place of the heart, it can really move everything forward. Um, and whatever this situation is, it's going to bring you that stability. And I feel like right now, even in the immediate future, you know, that king right there, he's doing okay. But you know what? He's he's out there floating on the water. That doesn't feel too stable to me. So even if 
you get a little reprieve and it helps a little bit. And sometimes we have to take that, take that little step. Sometimes a little step in the right direction can really bring in everything we desire. Okay. And that is true. Like, as far as making money, sometimes if you can't do it on a regu on your regular job, you know, get a delivery job or get a little something that can supplement. And normally, literally, as soon as that starts going, like, psh, that money flow will come in. We're going to get some clarification on the moon. Okay. Apparently, a lot of messages about that moon. The bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune, um, which is twice in this reading. So we feel like the wheel is definitely trying to turn. Um, so are you ready to turn the wheel? Are you ready to help? You know, it's literally by changing your thoughts. So we're going to get the cards for the moon. Um, <laughs> so to start with... <laughs> So he's like, what well, to start with? We're going to start with the Two of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Four of Cups, and the Tower. We feel like the dark night of the soul is going on and it is bringing you to this place of the Tower. And people are wondering... Because you're being a little more imbalanced, you're you're moving forward. She's like, tower first, boom, with the moon. The moon's happening, the tower's happening. With that dark night of the soul, people see you're more imbalanced. You're moving forward on your journey because you are seeing the gifts. She's like, you are seeing them. Even if in this card, she's daydreaming. That daydreaming is help bringing her more and more gifts in. And as she's in that daydreaming, as she's as she's in this daydreaming energy, which is mirrored here in the current energy, as she is daydreaming and healing this energy, because like this is this. She's like, that's this. That's taking the time to think about and dream about what do you want? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Because we feel like you are ready to bring in your happiness in an enlightened relationship. Something that's next level for you. Something that's not in a low vibration. Something that's high vibration. And that happens when you take the moment to be like, I want this and I'm not accepting anything less. And like, seriously, we're like, you have to know your worth. You have to know your value. And literally, the moment you do, things can change. 